I'm a huge football fan since I was six. I love to play it and watch it. And when our national team qualified for the World Cup in France in 1998, I was pumped up to no end. I would collect the stickers, or at least attempt it. I would watch all the matches, and I would buy video games. Now let it be known, back then I had no NES, no SNES, no Genesis, nothing aside from a big grey Game Boy. However, there was a Game Boy game based on the World Cup 1998, so I begged my parents to buy it. Today, I see it as a waste of money. Do you know these games that annoy you from the moment you start playing them? This is one of them. So I put the game in, turn the Game Boy on, I'm greeted by the Nintendo logo, and then I have to suffer through a 1 minute, 3 second, unskippable intro with music that would make bats crash into walls. In the main menu you get a big choice of play modes, the restore option, options, and just in case you haven't had enough credits yet, even more credits. It also takes some time getting used to which button executes what command, whether it's in the menu or during a match. Sometimes I press the B button in hopes to go back to the previous screen, but instead it takes me to the next one. I'd love to go more into detail, but since there's a time limit, I'm gonna focus on the main issues. So let's choose the teams. Ich bin Patriot, also spiele ich als Österreich. Against... Uh... Now it's obvious that developers tried to bring in a lot of variety, but what good is that if the game is simply not fun to play? In the long run, it all seems like they wanted too much and lost focus of the most important things. Here's a good example, the names of the players are not correct, even though they state often enough that this is a licensed product. If you have the license, there's no excuse for this other than just being really lazy, short on time, or just using it as a quick cash-in. But let's get to the most important part, the actual gameplay and the controls. After a few seconds into the match, you will instantly encounter the biggest problems. The gameplay is frustratingly slow, and I constantly find myself pressing the control pad down harder in hopes it would make the players run faster, I don't feel like I know what I'm doing, the players pass to whoever they feel like, and since it takes forever to get from one goal to the other, I constantly try a long shot in hopes one of my strikers gets it, because I can't rely on passing. I never have enough time to make a proper attack before I randomly get the ball stolen, and when you tackle, you can only hope the referee doesn't blow his whistle. Now, how do you score goals? Well, I tried everything I possibly could, but the only way I can sometimes score is to try to always shoot in the bottom corner of the goal. Then, if you're lucky, it goes in. However, I love the scoreboard and referee animations. They're pretty funny. Overall, it is playable, but really tedious and boring. By the way, if you play the World Cup mode, the restore option comes into play. It's basically a password you enter in order to continue. If you want to spend about 5 minutes typing in up to 48 letters and numbers. Now you might say, it's a Game Boy game, what do you expect? Well, let's compare it to another football game on the Game Boy. Soccer. This game was released in 1994, 4 years before World Cup 98, and is more what I expect from a football game on a handheld. For one thing, if you now pick your team, you can see that this game actually has the players' real names. Don't you like your Argentina with Goicochea, Maradona and Batistuta? And here's the gameplay. Passing is accurate, tackling is easy to do, the controls are easy to understand and well responsive, and it doesn't take forever to move from one goal to the other. However, scoring goals is pretty difficult in this game too, but not as hard as in World Cup 98. But in order to understand what I mean, you probably have to play both these games yourself. Bottom line, if you're looking for a football game on a handheld console, you have better options. I don't recommend this one. Avoid it like a football player avoids the red card. Avoid it like Superman avoids the kryptonite. Avoid it like...
See you next time. Take care, everyone.